Problem 12. It asks what value of x right here will make triangle DEF, DEF, triangle DEF congruent to triangle JLK. So we want to see what's going to make them congruent. What does that measurement have to be? Well, there's two ways to look at this. One, they gave me 60 and 42, and they gave me 60 and 78. Let me go ahead and figure out what this other angle up here must be and what the angle up there must be. This is 60 and 42. That adds up to 102. 102 plus 78 would add up to 180. And over here, 60 and 78 adds up to 138. So that would be 42 right there. Now, notice the x is between the 60 and the 42 side. So who's between the 60 and 42 side? That would be who? 6. So to make them congruent, meaning congruent meaning they're the exact same triangle, they've just been tilted or moved or flipped or something of that nature. It means all the angles are the same and all side lengths are going to be the same. It's the exact same triangle, just been turned around a little bit. So this side was 60-42 with this measurement of 6. So this guy, x right there, is going to have to be 6.0 also in order to make the two triangles congruent. The other way I was able to tell, if maybe I wasn't sure what it added up to and I didn't think that, here it says D and J are going to have to be the same. Well, here's D, there's J. So there's D and J. And notice that it also has F here having to match up with K. Here's F and here's K. So I can see there's a 6.0 between the D and the F, just like the X is between the J and the K is going to have to match and be the exact same measurement. So I know that it's got to be 6.0 for problem 12 on the 2009 Geometry SOL.